Every morning, Gulbazar, a town in Siraha district, becomes a market for illegally cut timber. Firewood from here goes all over the district, the neighboring district, and across the border to India. The wood comes from the Churia range of hills, now almost totally denuded. Nepal's forest cover is decreasing at a rapid pace. Just last year alone, some 30,000 hectares were lost, mostly in Nepal's southern belt, the Tarai. Pralat Kumar Kharki, a local farmer from a nearby village, claims that there were hardwood trees here just four years ago. Since democracy, all forest ranger posts move to the roadside. Nobody monitors what happens. Everyone is associated with political parties and parties are scared of each other. The forest is free for looting. Without the trees here, people are now experiencing landslides. We've walked for just about an hour from the nearest road and what we've come across is this recently cleared forest area. As you can see, a family has already started to settle in. Sayini Tamang is hoping to build a home for her four children. <laughs> it's our fate to live in the jungles. Where can we go? There are so many houses up here. Another hour on the riverbed and some 85 families have spread across this once dense forest. These people have been chopping off sal, a type of hardwood that is in high demand, with a specification for the Indian market. Al Jazeera met the former minister for forestry, Deepak Bora, who has been accused of corruption by a parliamentary committee. It was in his tenure that most deforestation took place. But he points the finger of blame at the Home Ministry. The government is a very fragile kind of a government and the uh, grip uh, as a local administration is not there. So there is the issue of the, the attitude of the Home Ministry. But right next to the Forestry Ministry's guard post in Sarlai district, we found this. It was 2,700 hectares of forest just a year ago. Naren Kapangi, a local activist, took us around. Big businessmen, sawmill owners, relatives of political leaders along with relatives of local forestry officers came here and took these trees one by one. 500 families have now settled here. Stories such as this one seem to be common around here. With everyone trying to make a quick buck and without any supervision, the dense forest of the Tarai can only be found in fairy tales. Sabina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, the Tarai Belt of Southern Nepal.